A little gripe I always have with Sonic movie edits that I find online is that they seem to slap white in the middle of the eyes and call it a day. So I did my take on it for fun, lol. Okay, so if you don't know what we're looking at, this chuckle nut over here created a Sonic design that has tan arms and a connected eyeball. And the reason why that is a big deal is because that is exactly how Sonic looks in the games. But the movie version, however, has two eyeballs and blue arms. And there has always been this very mini debate over whether or not a game accurate design for Sonic would translate well in the movies. Now before I give my take, let me just quickly say that this is some fantastic Photoshop work. This guy has more talent than Damien Hurst and it should be applauded. But in all honesty, Sonic with a connected eyeball and tan arms just looks so wrong. Like first of all, if he had tan arms in the movies, it would be inconsistent with all the other characters who have colored arms. And also they look weirdly human and it looks like his arms are detachable or like he's wearing a tank top. But I think the thing that throws it off the most for me is that in the games, I perceive his arms as skin, not fur. Whereas here, we see the fur, so it's even more off-putting. But on top of that, the connected eyeball just... No, I don't know how to explain it other than the fact that he loses some aura points. He looks like his pupils are dilated. But overall, the design that we currently have for the movie works and is appreciated because it maintains the basic Sonic attributes that we see in the games, like the shoes and gloves. But changing up these little things, like separating the eyes, makes Sonic convincingly real and not cartoony in live action. And I'm sure if it was the other way around, we would have things to say about the look. And lastly, each design works for the world that they are in. And as long as they don't drastically change the things that make Sonic look like Sonic, no one will complain.